cinnamon bun. I am extremely excited to be setting up my bullet journal for Peptober and NaNoWriMo 2018. I'm also excited to be partnering with For The Words for this video. For The Words is an RPG for writers where you embark on a journey and use your word count to defeat monsters. It's the most fun way that I find to build a daily writing streak. And now is a great time to give it a go because they've just launched their new site at ForTheWords.com and NaNoWriMo on For The Words is kind of like Christmas. There are special monsters, global challenges and extremely important accessories to win for your avatar. You will find a coupon code in the description below, so go and fight some word monsters. And without further ado, let's get into my bullet journal setup. If like me, you have a separate bullet journal for your everyday planning and then one for your writing or novel, um, I would recommend transferring over into your writing bullet journal for all of your planning for this month or for these two months. Because unless you carry both of them around with you everywhere, you're going to have to pick between them and you want all your novel stuff to be to hand as much as possible. You can definitely stick some post-its in the back of this bullet journal for anything which comes up which you know you'll need to transfer to your regular planner later. Um, but I think it's a really good idea to be literally living in your novel this month um, and that means living in your novel bullet journal. So that is why I am doing all of my planning in my novel bullet journal for these two months. Of course if you do all of your planning for your life and your writing in one journal anyway then this is not going to be an issue for you. Starting by putting together some cover pages for October or Preptober or both um, with a little quote there um, and I'm also adding a fall things list. So these are like almost like autumn bucket list items like activities that you kind of want to do in fall. Things which only happen in October that you kind of want to take advantage of or experience or do. is a really simple monthly calendar for October and on the opposite page my Preptober checklist. also created a really cute printable version of this checklist uh, which is one of our free Preptober resources this year so to grab that you just need to sign up for Preptober emails. So it's a really simple setup for October, um, but because I'm going to be living in this bullet journal for these months, um, I'm just leaving some blank pages for my weekly spreads during October. And so now I'm going to set up my uh, cover pages for November um, and I wanted to have a similar format so it's like the, the cover page on the one side and then an image and a quote on the left hand side with that space for um, kind of seasonal things like that little bucket list um, but because I wanted to go for autumn still but have it be a little bit different I've gone for like images with some blue in here and um, because I kind of associate that with NaNoWriMo um, and I wanted to move away from the kind of like very orange October theme. The little quote I've put on this one is uh, one of my favourites, you've probably heard me say it before, I am a writer and I'm done fucking around. Um, that is a quote from Chuck Wendig, it's part of his writer's prayer and something about it I just find super motivating. Might be the swearing. <laughs> <laughs> 
So now I'm setting up two calendars for November um, and I wanted to separate these so that I would have lots of space to write the NaNoWriMo specific events, so like kickoff, um, any write-ins that I want to attend, um, maybe even the daily word count that I'm trying to achieve, any kind of NaNoWriMo related events will go in there but then I've got the other side for plenty of space for anything that's just ordinary life, events, appointments, work, that kind of thing. <laughs> moving on to a progress tracker spread for NaNoWriMo um, and I wanted to do something other than a graph because you do get a graph on the NaNoWriMo website anyway and um, so I thought the best thing to do would be to have individual boxes for each of the days um, and I have the days marked on the left hand side and at the end of each day I'm going to fill in how many words I wrote that day um, and if I hit the daily word count if I hit 1667 then I will also colour in the box. I will list the box sizes down in the description below if you want to do the spread yourself. Um, so in that bar on the side I have made space for rewards. So I've got five rewards um, and then a win reward, uh, which is maybe a little bit superfluous given that you've got 50k and then win as well, but who cares. Um, so the idea is to give yourself a reward for every 10,000 words and to write what that reward will be in the box to help motivate us to get to it. this page I decided to go for kind of like that leafy dark green leafy um, and orange berries kind of like a big plant branch tree thing and um, I'm not sure I actually like how it turned out all that much I think if I was going to recommend to you to do a design similar to this yourself I'd maybe recommend doing something like bigger so like you know zoomed in like with much bigger leaves instead of like um, much smaller ones like that because it was very finicky. spread is really simple and it's just a list of my NaNoWriMo survival kit. If you're interested in seeing more about that keep an eye out for my NaNoWriMo survival kit video which will be out this Preptober too. My next spread is what I've learned from NaNoWriMo 2018. So this is just a one page spread and the idea is to add to it as you kind of realise things, as you learn things. Um, NaNoWriMo is a really intense experience and because it is so intense you can learn so much in a single month about yourself and about writing um, but it's really easy to forget that stuff and I wish that I had done something like this last year because I feel like I learned a lot of stuff and I didn't really action it and I didn't really remember a lot of it so I think this is going to be a really good spread this year. <laughs> spread is why this book why now now this can be a really short page like you don't have to write a lot for this um, and I don't plan on writing a lot myself but I think this is a really valuable spread to have because it's a motivational reminder of why I'm doing this just one page maybe talking about the theme of the book and um, why I love it why it's kind of close to my heart and why it's worth it to go through this because NaNoWriMo can be really difficult and you want to know why you're doing it because that is going to help you on those difficult days. So the next spread is my NaNoWriMo mantra. So this is a one page spread and I want to hammer home here that this is not a traditional just motivational quote page. This is not just there to look pretty, it's not there to just to take up space. I want you to make this a mantra that you will actually use daily to help support your mind during NaNoWriMo. Um, our minds fight us on stuff that we want to do all the time and using mantras and affirmations can be a really good way to kind of 
soften up that resistance and get us used to the idea that this is what we're doing. Um, so I'm not going to write one in here um, because I don't. I think that affirmations and mantras are really personal and so I don't think that I can prescribe you one in inverted commas um, that's going to work. Um, I think if you are not sure about mantras or affirmations, maybe go and take a Google about how to write them because there are kind of rules, you know, you're meant to make them positive rather than negative and in the present tense rather than future tense um, for them to be more effective. But something that is really specific like I am winning NaNoWriMo or NaNoWriMo is going really well might be useful here. And like I said, this page is not just for show. Once you have written it and you've come up with it, I want you to actually use it daily. Repeat the mantra to yourself as often as possible because that is how it's going to work. Next spread is a fix it later page. Now this should be pretty self-explanatory but um, one of the biggest things in NaNoWriMo is about keeping a handle on your inner editor and forcing yourself to keep moving forward even when you're not happy with what you've just written um, and one of the best ways to do that is to get those thoughts about mistakes or things you want to change out of your brain somewhere where you can go back to it later but once it's down hopefully the idea is that you can just move forward because you don't need to worry about remembering it and rehearsing it in your mind because you know that you can come back to this when NaNoWriMo is over. So I think this is going to be really good for staying on track during NaNoWriMo. <laughs> Next spread is the inspiration station um, and the subtitle is when in need of a break or inspiration these always do the trick so um, it's again it's pretty self-explanatory but anything which inspires you which gets you in the mood to write which just like kind of lights your fire for your novel you want to write that down here because you want to be able to use that you want to be able to crack it out when you need it <laughs> The next spread is for For The Words and it's favourite monsters. So you're going to meet a lot of monsters during For The Words um, and you will slowly fill out your bestiary, it's kind of like a pokedex, with lots of different things that you meet but if you are like me you might find that you actually end up having favourite monsters that you like to battle. Because each monster has a different time limit and word count you might start to find that some of them work really well for you um, or better than others so this might be a good place to write those down. And this spread is NaNoWriMo Hacks. Again, another super simple spread, just a list, a place to note down tips or hacks that you find which are really useful, which you would like to use this NaNoWriMo. Um, I actually have two separate videos on NaNoWriMo Hacks, so if you are looking to fill out those pages, um, I would definitely recommend going in and looking at those. But people are sharing amazing tips and tricks for NaNoWriMo in all sorts of places, on Twitter, in the forums, so it's nice to have a place to note down the ones that you think might work best for you. spread that I'm putting together is a NaNoWriMo daily journal. So the idea with this is just to have a few lines where you can write about how your day went during NaNoWriMo. Now I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to use this myself because I basically do a version of this with my one minute videos like my vlogs during Preptober and NaNoWriMo but I think if you're not doing anything like that this could be really useful um, because again NaNoWriMo is a really intense experience and I think collecting and recording how it went can be really invaluable. I actually forget what NaNoWriMo 2016 was like for me until I go back and watch my vlog and I see myself saying I don't want to write today every day and then writing anyway and I literally would have forgotten that without that vlog something about seeing the whole of it together shows me proof that my brain cannot argue with that I can keep writing even when I don't want to and even when it seems hard and my brain is really good at forgetting what I've achieved and forgetting that fact so I think this is a really valuable spread and here's a complete flip through of all the spreads I put together.
are going to use any of these spreads yourself, please do let me know in the comments, even if it's not inside a bullet journal. This video is part of Preptober, a month long festival of pumpkin spice, NaNoWriMo prep and novel craft. The best way to get your hands on every bit of Preptober goodness is to join the email list. So go and sign up and we will shine a little bit of noveling light in your inbox. We only send out our free resources like the Preptober checklist that you saw in this video um, and the Preptober resource tree through email. So it's really worth doing. Stop touching your hair, babe. Ooh, that was a cup of tea.